What's up everyone, thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be showing off 5 fantastic console mods in my opinion to download. I'll be turning this into a series, so hope you all end up enjoying it. The name to this series is actually inspired by uh, the Fantastic Four. I know, how original, right? I decided to switch it up a little bit and title it 5 Fantastic Console Mods to Download. Oh yeah, nice and spicy. I'm just kidding. I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably like, dude, that name sucks. Why'd you go with it? I don't know, just thought it flowed right. I just went with it, okay? Leave me alone. But yeah, uh, before I get started with this, if you guys end up enjoying the video, it's greatly appreciated if you decide to take like three seconds of your time maybe and leave a like. It's all right if you don't. In the end, I hope you guys just end up enjoying the video. Let's get into this though. So to start this off, I have you guys the Slutty, Slutty, whatever you want to call it, Vault Jumpsuit. This adds three different kind of vault suits that have a little more texture and reveals more on your character as well. Like to get into a little bit of uh, perverted detail for you guys, it seems that it reveals more of the shape of the booty. It seems that the character when wearing this has a major wedgie in the uh, buttocks area of course. And also the tatas are poking out a little bit. It's really just honestly a nice touch overall when wearing this jumpsuit. You can create these jumpsuits under the utility selection at the chemistry station, along with a dark and red variant as well. Keep in mind you can also wear armor pieces over this too. This comes with 10 armor rating, 5 energy resistance, and 5 radiation resistance. This is also available on PS4 as well, I'll leave both of the links in the description. Same goes with all the other mods in this video. If it's on the PS4, well I'll add the link to the PS4 version too in the description. Up next I have you guys another good looking clothing mod called Ashara's Under Armour and it's available on the PS4 as well. These can be created once again at the chemistry station under the utility selection. It comes with halter top and trousers, halter top and skirt, vest, shirt and trousers, and vest, shirt and skirt. Personally, my favorite out of these is the halter top and trousers. I just think it looks well on my character. And you can redesign the colors on these that best suit you at the armor workshop station. They start out as a poopy brown color, but once again, you can change it to whatever. If you like the poopy brown color, well then just roll with it. Don't care about my opinion. The other colors and shades you can choose from besides the brown color are black, white, blue, burgundy, and green. And also you can mix them all up to give yourself a more unique look. All of them have a weight of 1, value of 50, damage resistance of 10, energy resistance of 10, and radiation resistance of 10, and lastly but certainly not least physical resistance of 10. But yeah, overall, another fantastic mod that I recommend you all to check out. Next one I have for you all is just absolutely badass. It's a Desert Eagle you can get in the game. This weapon is amazing. Definitely up there as one of my favorite gun mods in the game so far. Until I find another weapon mod, of course, that's better than this one. It can be found on your enemies and in some vendor inventories. It can also be found in-game at the location called Wreck of the FMS Northern Star at the top deck of the crash ship right in here on this table next to the bed. This location here is located at the far end of the top deck. But yeah, it'll come with, you know, of course, no modifications to it. You can equip an awesome flashlight mod to this, and it will act like your pit boy light. So it will disable your pit boy light for this flashlight mod that you can equip on this Desert Eagle. That you can build at the chemistry station underneath the utility selection once again. Then if you go to the weapon station, you can add a flashlight to it underneath muzzle or switch up the way it looks by having gold engraved on it. You can add a lot of customizations to this. Even a Queen of Hearts card on the grip of it. Personally, it's one of my favorite modifications on this. I mean, this just looks stunning. It's called Lucky Grip, and it gives better recoil, hip fire accuracy, and critical shot damage. It also gives plus one to luck. I mean, it makes sense. It is the Queen of Hearts. Overall, a really unique weapon mod to download. I highly recommend this one. I mean, just look how it looks when you pull it out and how it sounds. You gotta admit, this is amazing, guys. Also, in case you were wondering, this is available to download on the PS4, too. So yeah, PS4 players, you're not left out on this. I know, I know, PS4 mods are not quite here yet. I'm just leaving it in here for future references if you guys check this out when PS4 mods are available. This fourth one I have for you guys, another awesome weapon mod called Jaguar MSX 200 Light Machine Gun. And this weapon is absolutely incredible. You can modify this to be even more of a beast than what it is starting out, too. This is the ports of a Fallout New Vegas mod by Maybatsu or something like that. I'm not sure how exactly his name's pronounced. Sorry about 
you know, butchering your name if you actually see this, which I doubt you'll actually see this video, but he has given this person permission to port the mod onto Xbox One and PS4. He also has given permission to use his other Fallout New Vegas mods as well. So yeah, thankfully that mod creator isn't really greedy about his mods and is allowing other people to take them and upload them, you know, so we can get a feel for them on the Xbox One and PS4. You can find this weapon though, right outside of the castle area at the diner. It'll be laying on the countertop here. You can then go modify it to your liking, add ventils on it, have explosive rounds with it. I mean, this has tons of options to choose from. Down to the freaking type of ammo this takes. You can switch up what ammo it takes. And also, here's a good example of what it sounds like. Yeah. Overall, once again, a very unique weapon mod to give a try. Lastly up, I have you guys a very unique set of armor called NSR Veteran Ranger Armor. As of now, this is only on the Xbox One, but the mod creator said it will be coming to PS4 soon. You can find this unique set of armor in Kellogg's home in Diamond City, and his secret stash behind the wall in the safe. You can modify this to be even more unique than what it is already. You can add like deathclaw bones to the boots. You can make the style to be a desert ranger style. You can also change the style of the visor of the helmet and add trims to the armor as well. Definitely once again hate to be that guy to repeat myself, but a fantastic mod to check out. Oops, I farted. Well, there you guys have it, everyone. Episode 1 to 5 fantastic console mods to download. I'm going to leave a friendly reminder once again before I head out of here, though. If you find this enjoyable, it'll be much appreciated if you could take a bit of your time and leave a like. Hate to sound like I'm begging y'all for likes and I don't want to be that guy. I am grateful that you even decided to come here and check out my content. But yeah, once again, if you enjoyed it, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm out of here though. Thanks everyone for watching, and if you haven't and want, uh, be sure to subscribe and stick around for similar content like this. And also remember to stay safe out there everyone, and I'll hopefully catch you all later. Peace out.